Hey, what's happening, everyone? How you doing? This is Picture Mike. I'm um, going to be doing a video, a tutorial, actually, on uh, Photoshop and just kind of giving out some tips on how to take better photographs, uh, maybe some tips on um, uh, video editing and some video production. Um, but today, this particular tutorial is go. This one goes out to the ladies. Uh, ladies, you know, I, I know y'all y'all big on putting your pictures on Instagram and Facebook. You know, maybe you was at the beach with your girls and, and you got some bikini shots, but um, you know, you, you might have just had a baby and 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 uh, you know, you got some stretch marks and and you want to get rid of them using Photoshop. So I can help you with that. That's what that's what this tutorial is gonna be uh, on today how to remove uh, stretch marks, scars, acne using Photoshop. So uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to open our file. Now I have a file that I, I borrowed from um, Google Images. Uh, it's called, I named it Post Pregnancy. And as you can see, this young lady has uh, you know, some, she has some stretch marks, you know, she's, it's, it's not, it's nothing outrageous, you know, it's not too bad. Like most, most, most stretch marks, I guess. But you know, if you, if you're posting a picture and you want to, you want to look your best, you know, you, you don't, you don't want, you don't want everybody to see that. If it's something that you're self-conscious about, uh, you know, why, why should you put it out there? Um, and you know, if, if, if you can, you know, if you can make it better, if you can, if you can fix it. So with that said, first step is uh, we're gonna go up here to our toolbar on the left side of the screen. You'll see a toolbar. Uh, we're gonna look for our little Band-Aid icon. That's gonna be the uh, spot healing brush. Now, if you click on the spot healing brush, it'll give you a few different options. Uh, you got your content aware tool, uh, your patch tool, your healing brush, and then your spot healing brush. That's the easiest one to do what we're gonna do. Uh, so that's, you know, that's what I suggest, uh, you, you guys use, um, now with your brush, you're just going to start painting on, painting on the, uh, image. You're just going to start painting on these stretch marks. Just get rid of them. Now, at, while I'm going ahead and painting, painting on the, uh, stretch marks, I want to talk about some different things you can do with the brush. All right. You can make your brush bigger or smaller. Uh, if you go up here, you see this arrow and this little number 60 or whatever the number is. And that's, that's just how you make your brush bigger. You know, if you want to, you know, cover more area, you know, try to get done with it a little quicker, you know, you just go up there and make it bigger. You can also make it bigger using the, um, bracket keys on your keyboard. Now, I, I, I generally like to use shortcuts, you know, it's easier, it's quicker, less clicking, less pointing. Um, but, you know, everybody does things differently. Now, as I, as I get closer to being finished with this, you know, especially down near the uh, piece of clothing, you know, I'm going to have to make my brush a little smaller. So if I, if I, if, you know, if I'm using a big brush and I get too close to the clothing, you know, it's a good chance it'll grab the clothing and, it, you know, and it'll move those pixels. It'll move those pixels and kind of start making like a blue hazy kind of look, you know, on, on the, on the young lady's skin. And we don't want that. So we'll go ahead and we're going to make that brush a little smaller and try to just get it, get a little bit more detail work done. Now you see, I'm just kind of removing everything that, you know, just doesn't look natural. You know what I mean? I'm, you know, I'm not going to take every, every little scar or every little blemish out, you know what I mean? But, you know, you just kind of want it to look, want it to look natural. I, I mean, you can do this all day. You can sit here and work on this as long as, as long as you want, you know, to make it look the way you want it to look. But you know, I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of which tool works the best and how it works. Um, all right, we're going to try to wrap this video up. So I'm going to make my brush a little bigger 
and just kind of try to cover as much ground as possible here so we can get this video uh, done. We can wrap this video up. Now, I'll go over here to my history on the right side uh, above your adjustment styles and your layers. Here, let me get my layer window open. Okay, here's my layers, here's my history. Now, if you go to the top of the history, you'll see what the file looked like originally. You'll see all of these stretch marks, all right? Now, if you go down, you know, you, you'll see what the work that we did. I'm gonna make a snapshot so that I can just kind of real quickly go back and forth and show you before and after. You know, this is before, this is the snapshot showing the after. And you know, it's not, it's not drastic, you know, it's, it's pretty subtle, you know, but it, you know, that's the way it should be. You don't want it to look Photoshopped. You know, you want it to look natural. And that, that's pretty much what you know, what we have here. So uh, that, that pretty much sums it up as far as using the, um, the uh, healing brush, the spot healing brush. Um, you know, if you have any, any other questions, if you, if you'd like to see, uh, if you'd like to see me make a particular tutorial, you know, leave a comment, um, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit me up on Facebook, uh, just, you know, get at me, let me know what you, what you, what you're talking about, what you, you know, what you want to see. And, uh, I'll make a video, you know, I'll make a, I'll make a tutorial for that particular topic. So. Uh, with that said, I want to thank you for watching my video and, um, you know, I, I really appreciate the feedback. So please feel free. Thanks a lot and have a good day.